I covered the war in southern Iraq as a journalist, but never set foot in the north until after the Americans had gone. I couldn't believe it was the same country. The city of Suleimania is a liberal island in a region flooded with extremism. Enemies are all around. ISIS is just two hours away. My name is Neil Shea, and I'm a writer with National Geographic magazine. I'm on assignment in northern Iraq for a story on the Kurds, a Muslim minority, and a crucial Western ally in the battle against ISIS. The Kurds are an ancient people with their own language and culture, and today they're scattered across Turkey, Iran, Syria, and Iraq. Here in Iraq, the Kurds control a territory the size of Switzerland, and though they officially remain part of Iraq, they have their own president, their own parliament, and their own moderate form of Islamic democracy. All of that is now under threat. It's a couple hours before sunrise. We're gonna meet up with an Iraqi police unit that's going out looking for ISIS fighters around the city of Kirkuk. I'm leaving the safety of Suleimania and heading south toward Kirkuk, toward ISIS-held territory and a police commander charged with keeping the city safe from jihadis. Haura is my friend and my fixer. He's a Kurdish photojournalist who's helping me chase leads and meet the right people. He was also born and raised in Kirkuk, and he's lived through all the recent wars. It's the time of wild dogs in the city. This is when they feel free to roam, Kirkuk is an oil-rich city in the middle of Iraq, and it's also the country's melting pot. In Kirkuk's dense neighborhoods, Christians live beside Muslims, Kurds live beside Arabs, and everyone lives just a few miles from ISIS. In 2014, the Kurds stepped up to stop militants from capturing Kirkuk, but fear still stains everything here. <laughs> 